Welcome to the Essence of Health Tea Time Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Shayla Toombs Withers. As a double board certified family and obesity medicine physician with over 12 years of experience in medicine, I teach motivated individuals how to achieve their desired quality of life while preventing and reversing chronic diseases. It's tea time. I'm excited to announce that our group metabolic coaching program, the Mind Body Balance Collective, has started and we're ready for you to come and join us. Within this monthly program, we'll work together to not only develop your personalized plan to improve your condition of insulin resistance, lower your blood sugar, lose weight, re-energize your body, and keep you feeling your best self, but we'll also get you off of that fat diet hamster wheel for good by giving you a sustainable plan that actually works within your busy schedule to keep you in good health. And best of all, you'll be amongst a safe, encouraging group of cheerleaders there to support you along the way. The Mind Body Balance Collective is where you want to be. Head on over to drshayla.com forward slash MBBC to enroll now and let's get started today. It's tea time. You've probably heard through the years that you should strive to get around eight hours of sleep per night, but do you know why? Do you know that lack of sleep can not only affect your overall health and wellness, but can also impact your waistline? Studies have shown that the average American adult gets less than seven hours of sleep per night. 30% of adults have symptoms of insomnia or trouble sleeping and sleep disorders like sleep apnea, restless leg syndrome, and narcolepsy affect a significant number of Americans further disrupting sleep. While we know there are multiple contributing factors to why you may or may not be getting enough sleep, on today's episode, I'll be spilling the tea on why you need to snooze to lose, highlighting the connection that sleep has to our weight and its vital importance in weight management. Let's start our discussion today by delving into the facts about sleep and our sleep cycles. Our bodies are finely tuned machines and operate on a natural rhythm or our internal clock known as the circadian rhythm. Their circadian rhythm helps to regulate our sleep-wake cycle, meaning your body's own way of knowing when you should be asleep and when you should be awake. Circadian rhythms are mostly affected by light and darkness and are controlled by a small area in the middle of your brain. They can affect sleep, body temperature, hormones, appetite, and other bodily functions. Abnormal circadian rhythms may be linked to obesity, diabetes, depression, bipolar disorder, seasonal affective disorder, and sleep disorders such as insomnia. Now, during a typical night's sleep, we progress through several stages of sleep, including light sleep, deep sleep, and REM, or rapid eye movement sleep. REM sleep, or REM sleep, is where our vivid dreams occur. Within a normal sleep cycle, you may actually spend about two hours per night within the REM cycle dreaming. However, most of our sleep occurs within the non-REM cycles of sleep, as this encompasses 75% of our sleep cycle. Our deepest stage of sleep within the non-REM cycles is considered to be the most critical because this is the stage when the body repairs and regrows tissues, builds bone and muscle, and strengthens our immune system. Studies have shown that when individuals are awakened during this deepest sleep stage, they tend to have moderately impaired mental performance for 30 minutes to an hour. So just imagine the impact of this occurring every day. Now, keep listening to this T. Each stage of sleep plays a vital role in the restorative processes of your brain and body, healthy cognitive function, and overall health and wellness. Disruption to these cycles can have significant implications for our well-being. So at this point, you may be wondering, well, how much sleep should I be getting? Well, I'm glad you asked. The answer to this question is actually a bit more complex than you may have anticipated as the amount of sleep needed, it'll change based upon the age of the individual. Newborns within the first three months of life will need and get 14 to 17 hours of sleep per day. 
just think of that little as newborn sleeping the day away. Their brains are working in overdrive for their growth and development. Infants within that first year of life will need about 12 to 16 hours of sleep per day, including naps. Toddlers of one to two years old will need about 11 to 14 hours of sleep per day. This also includes naps. Preschool age children, age three to five years old, will need about 10 to 13 hours of sleep per day, also including naps. I have three kids, and I know from that point of them going from preschool into school, then they start cutting that nap out, even if they're in school. So school-age children, aged 6 to 12 years old, would need about 9 to 12 hours per day, which is why those bedtime routines and bedtime schedules are so important at this age. Teens aged 13 to 18 years old would need about 8 to 10 hours per day. Adults over 18 years old, yes, that's you who's likely listening today, so listen up. You'll need about 7 to 9 hours of sleep per day or overnight. And this can even vary a bit more for aging adults over the age of 70, but you get the gist. Get some sleep. Now, get this tea on the hormonal imbalances that occur with poor quality sleep and how this may be impacting your weight. As a board-certified obesity medicine specialist, I can confidently tell you that obesity is far more complex than a balance of calories in and calories out. I invite you to refer back and take a listen to the Essence of Health Tea Time podcast, season one, episode nine, on the tea about the complexities of obesity, where I spill the tea regarding multiple factors that contribute to obesity beyond the balance of nutrition and exercise. If you're frustrated with your weight, taking more medications than you like to, have been told that you are at risk for the development of a chronic preventable disease, or just are not feeling in the best of health, then I'm talking to you. Why? Because you're tired of fat dieting. You know it's time for a change and you want a sustainable plan to improve your health. If you have found yourself at this place in life, well, I have developed a program that's just for you. It's called The Essence of Health and it's your prescription for transformation. My goal with this program is to give you the tools needed to create sustainable lifestyle changes within a group coaching setting, along with one-to-one individualized coaching to give you a personalized path to health that's just for you. The benefits are priceless, so join today. Head on over to eohcoaching.com to learn more. The essence of health is in you. Now. As we are discussing why you need to snooze to lose, sleep is also another very important factor that plays a part in weight management and the condition of obesity. Poor quality sleep and lack of sleep is a risk factor for obesity. Lack of sleep and poor quality sleep promote a hormonal imbalance within your body that contributes to overeating and weight gain. Two hormones identified in this connection are the hormones leptin and ghrelin. Leptin is the hormone that signals to the brain that you're full, not hungry. Due to the way leptin functions, it helps to regulate our appetite and our energy balance. Ghrelin, on the other hand, is known as the hunger hormone. It was explained to me when I was in obesity medicine training to think of ghrelin like growling, you know, when your tummy's growling because you're hungry. So ghrelin is the hunger hormone. As it stimulates your appetite and promotes increased food intake, and promotes the storage of fat within your body. Now, when you don't get enough sleep, the balance between these hormones becomes out of whack, causing an increase in the levels of ghrelin, which translates to being more hungry, and decreased levels of leptin, so you're not feeling as full or satisfied, thereby promoting weight gain. Think about those times when you may have pulled an all-nighter for work or for school. You'll typically grab a snack because this hormonal balance is out of whack. This is also why within the Essence of Health coaching programs, we practice mindfulness. One aspect of being mindful is to actually challenge your brain and the thought processes that you are experiencing. For example, if you've already eaten dinner and you're suddenly feeling the need for a snack, think about why and what you're actually feeling. Are you actually hungry? Are you actually bored? Are you feeling stressed or anxious? Are you sleepy? 
often when you practice mindfulness and delve a bit deeper to evaluate your thoughts and feelings, you may decide that you didn't need that snack after all. Another critical role sleep plays in our health is for metabolic regulation. Studies have shown that inadequate sleep impairs our body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity. This in turn places you at risk for insulin resistance conditions like prediabetes, diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS, metabolic syndrome and chronic obesity. And if you already have diabetes, lack of sleep can make it even more challenging to manage your condition and get your diabetes under control. Here are a few hormonal and metabolic reasons that play a part in this occurrence. One is cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisol is increased when you are deprived of sleep. Cortisol, in turn, increases your blood sugar, which also, in turn, increases your risk for those insulin resistance conditions I mentioned, including type 2 diabetes. When you are sleep deprived, your insulin hormone, which is responsible for balancing your blood sugar and energy levels, this hormone will tend to become less effective at doing its job, thereby increasing your blood sugar. Sleep deprivation increases your growth hormone in the body. Increases in growth hormone affect your insulin hormone and also makes its work less effective, which in turn further increases your risk for insulin resistance and elevates your blood sugar. I hope you're starting to grasp, my friend, that you must get some sleep. Now, beyond lack of sleep contributing to weight gain, the condition of obesity can also increase your risk for certain sleep disorders. Get this tea. Does your partner tend to snore the paint off the walls? Or are you the reason that your partner sleeps with earplugs? One very common sleep disorder also associated with excess weight is obstructive sleep apnea. It is reported that approximately 39 million adults in the United States have obstructive sleep apnea. However, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine estimates that as many as 80% of people with obstructive sleep apnea are undiagnosed. This is profound. So listen up, friends. Sleep apnea is a health condition in which people experience disrupted breathing while they are sleeping. Loud snoring is one of the most common symptoms. However, other findings may include gasping for air during sleep, daytime sleepiness, dry mouth, likely due to the snoring when your mouth is open during sleep, headaches, and frequent waking throughout the night. And the tricky thing about sleep apnea is that it's actually a double-edged sword, meaning while excess weight can contribute to sleep apnea, the interrupted sleep patterns and decreased oxygen levels associated with sleep apnea, especially when it's uncontrolled, can disrupt hormonal regulation, increase inflammation, and lead to excess weight gain. This is due to those changes we just discussed related to lack of quality sleep. The good news is that sleep apnea can be diagnosed with a test given while you're sleeping, called a sleep study. And once diagnosed, this condition is treatable with continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP use. Now, before I go, let me leave you with some practical strategies for improving both your sleep quality and for healthy weight management. One, prioritize sleep. Make sleep a non-negotiable part of your daily routine. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night to support your overall health and well-being. Two, establish a sleep routine. Create a relaxing bedtime routine to signal to your body that it's time to wind down. This could include activities such as taking a warm bath, reading, meditation, or gentle stretching. What I find is that many of us who are parents, we do this with our children, but as adults, we tend to forget those patterns and those things that were helpful for getting good sleep. Three, create a sleep conducive environment. Make your bedroom a sanctuary for sleep by keeping it cool, dark, and quiet. Invest in a comfortable mattress and pillows to optimize your sleep environment. If a quiet environment is bothersome to you, then try a white noise machine or white noise app, or try listening to a sleep story. Four, limit screen time before bed. That's right, folks, turn those phones off. The blue light emitted by screens can disrupt your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. So avoid electronic devices such as smartphones, tablets, computers, at least an hour before bedtime, 
And yes, turn off that television and let your brain get some rest. And number five, watch your diet and exercise. Maintain a healthy diet and engage in regular physical activity to support both your sleep quality and for healthy weight management. Avoid heavy meals and caffeine close to bedtime and aim to exercise a bit earlier in the day to promote better sleep. Friend, you need to snooze to lose. Sleep isn't just a luxury, it's a fundamental pillar of health that deserves our attention and care. Remember, the essence of health is in you. Thank you for joining me today on the Essence of Health Tea Time Podcast. Click the subscribe button on your favorite podcast platform so that you never miss a moment of the Essence of Health Tea Time Podcast. Check out the show notes to obtain your free tips for healthy living guide to get you started on your health and wellness path. Follow me on social media at Essence of Health Wellness Clinic on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and at dr.tw at eohwc on TikTok. Interested in becoming a member of the Essence of Health Coaching Program? Well, head on over to www.eohcoaching.com. The Essence of Health is in you.